Hi boys and girls. I'm so excited to be back here in Trinity and giving you your Sunday School message. Let's jump right in and see what we're learning about today. We're learning about God's commandments. Now you might think that, think that sounds like a bunch of rules, but God's commandments are like street signs showing us the best way to go. So today we are learning all about how we don't want to hurt others. It's not the right thing to do. So having siblings and cousins means that we have other kids in our family who we can play with, but sometimes it's hard to get along. Let's look at two brothers in the Bible who had a hard time getting along. We'll learn from them why we don't hurt others. The Bible is a special book because God can talk to us through it when we read his word and it helps us experience his peace when we're angry. Let's listen to God as we hear from the Bible today, but let's first pray to him and ask him to open our hearts to his word. Let's pray. Dear God, please help us to listen to your word today. Help us to hear your word. We love you. In your name we pray, amen. All right, boys and girls. So today we are learning about one of God's commandments. We've been learning about God's commandments for a little while now, and we are learning another one today. And this one is do not murder, which might sound a little silly to us, right? Do not murder. So this one might not make much sense to you. It might be something that we struggle with. So I'm gonna help you learn a little bit more about what God means when he says do not murder because it means a lot. So first we are going to jump in to God's word and hear about those two brothers that I mentioned earlier. So we're talking about Cain and Abel. And it says that Adam's wife Eve gave birth to a son named Abel. And Abel was in charge of the sheep. He was a shepherd. And Cain was a worker of the ground, so he was like a farmer. And in the course of the time that Cain had brought to the Lord an offering, and it was fruit of the ground, so he brought the Lord something that he grew in the ground. And Abel had brought the firstborn of his flock. So he brought one of his sheep to God, and he gave it as an offering. So it's really important for us to understand that they both brought these two offerings to God at the start of our story, all right? So what did you notice about what Cain gave and what Abel gave? So Cain gave some of his crops, right? He gave something that he grew, but Abel, Abel gave the best of his flock. He gave the firstborn, he gave the best one. Long before Cain murdered Abel, we see a problem with Cain's heart, right? He wasn't giving his best to God. And from there, Cain's heart only got worse. So let's see what happens next in our Bible reading. So next it says, Cain and his offering, he didn't really care about it. And he was very angry, and he fell to the ground. So I want you to tell me about a time when you were really angry about something. I want you to think about a time when you were so angry. Maybe you were mad about something that your mom or dad said. They said that you couldn't do something that you really wanted to do. Or maybe you were angry because your sibling took a toy away from you or took something that was yours from your room and you wanted to have that. You didn't want to share it with them. Or maybe your friend said something mean to you and it hurt your feelings and you got angry about it. There are a lot of things in life that make us angry. And being angry isn't a good feeling, right? It makes us feel all tight. We feel so mad about something. It's not good. And even though Cain was the one not choosing to give his best, he was angry that God liked Abel's offering better. He was angry that God liked that sheep better than he liked the crop. 
And maybe he felt even a little jealous. Raise your hand if you've ever felt jealous of someone else. I totally have. Yeah. And it was so obvious. God could see it on Cain's face. And the Bible tells us this next about what happened in the story. It says, the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? Why have you fallen on your face? If you do well, will you not be accepted? If you do not do well, sin is at your door. Its desire is for you, but you must rule over it. So Cain was so mad. He was so upset. And Sometimes in the Bible, it actually says that he was dejected, which is a really big word for saying really sad. He was so sad about this. So God warned Cain. God could see that Cain's heart was getting closer and closer to Cain hurting his brother. And God didn't want that because we don't hurt others. But our negative attitudes can lead us to sometimes hurting others, right? So let's see what the Bible says happened next. Cain spoke to Abel, his brother. And when they went into the field, Cain rose up against his brother and hurt him. He murdered him. Do you think that was the right thing for Cain to do? To hurt his brother? No, right? The whole lesson today is talking about how we don't hurt others. That wasn't the right thing for him to do. So Cain killed Abel, but this doesn't come out of nowhere, right? We kind of saw this coming. Cain did one thing at a time that got him closer to hurting someone else, even when God warned him to check his heart. Cain kept on letting his heart get worse. You may have never hurt anyone before, but you've probably been mad at people, right? Or angry with them or jealous. Another way to think of this commandment, we don't hurt others, is to think about what murder means in the Bible. Murder doesn't mean hurting someone physically. Murder can also mean saying bad things about someone. It can be hurting somebody's feelings. We call that slander. Things like that are under this commandment too. Those are things that God doesn't want us to be doing. He doesn't want that for us. So you see, murdering isn't just killing someone. The path to murder begins with a heart that's not committed to God. So when our hearts are committed to God, we usually don't get as angry. We're able to take a step back and take a deep breath. And remember that God's in control of everything. So it heads towards anger and towards mean things and towards saying mean things and towards hurting someone. So I want you to take a minute to pray to God. I want you to get your heart ready with God right now. Take some time to talk to him. If you've been angry lately, ask for forgiveness for that. I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds to do that, okay? Great job. So when Cain killed Abel, that wasn't quite the end of the story. So I'm gonna read you the end of the story now. What happened next? So it says, then the Lord said to Cain, where is Abel your brother? And he said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I the one that's supposed to be watching over my brother? Is what he's saying. And the Lord said, what have you done? Your brother is not here, he is, he is hurt. And now you have hurt him, which leaves your brother's blood on your hands. And when you work in the ground, you will no longer yield any strength. You're not gonna get anything from working in the ground anymore. I'm taking that away from you. You shall wander the earth. And Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. You see, we have a very just God, and that means that when someone does something wrong, God sees it. 
He sees it when someone hurts someone else, and there's a punishment to it. Just like if you did something wrong in your house, and your parents said, hey, now you don't get ice cream for dessert tonight. You don't get dessert at all because of how you acted. That's how God is. Especially in some of these Bible stories, we see the way that he talked to people and how he gave punishments. And so we know that if someone hurts someone else, they should be punished, right? We can't go around hurting other people. That's not the right thing to do, and that's what the Bible reminds us. So God knew what Cain had done. He didn't need Cain to tell him, right? God knows everything. He didn't need Cain's help in that. And God was not happy. Think about it this way. God made Abel and Cain hurt Abel. That wouldn't make God happy at all. So I want you to think of a time when someone ruined something that you made. Maybe it was an art class and you made this beautiful, beautiful drawing and then somebody spilled water all over it. It could be anything. Sometimes some, someone ruins something that you made. God made everyone, even the people that we get angry with. And we need to re be respectful of the people that God made. We need to be careful that we don't hurt others physically or with our hearts. We need to be nice to people. That's what God wants from us. So the next time you start to head towards anger and negative thoughts about someone, I want you to stop and say a prayer to God because he's there for you. He wants to listen to you and he wants to help you all the time. You can ask God to help you see the good in the person that he made, in that person that you're getting angry with because God made them. So they are a loved child of God, just like you and me. He loves them so much. So let's close in prayer and ask God to help us when we're angry. Let's pray. Dear God, we get angry sometimes. Help us find peace when we're angry, instead of making the situation worse with hurtful words or actions. Give us peace right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, boys and girls, for watching. See you next week. Bye.